Hello and welcome back to Intentional Living. I am Emma and today I want to take you through my journey with Bank Zero. Now I opened my account early in May and it took me maybe four minutes to fill up the application and have everything done, take a picture and everything. I did it early in the morning so it was a terrible picture. So anyway, I deposited the money a little bit later, like a couple of days later. And after I deposited the money, the card was ready for collection. I think it was four or five days, but it was very quick. And when you first open your account, this is what must happen, right? You do fill in your details and everything. And then after filling in your details, they will tell you, okay, your application has been successful, your card has been opened. Now you will need to deposit some money into the account so that they can be able to deduct the courier fees so they can be able to send you your card. The money is for strictly couriering your card and then they do that. Then you go and collect it. I collected mine at the nearest clicks. And I waited like maybe four or five minutes for them to assist me with um, getting the card, the pins and everything. They deliver via Pargo and that delivery is 69 Rand. They are claiming to be one of the lowest, cheapest internet banks in South Africa. And I think we are all aware that there's been a, a surge of internet banks in South Africa in the recent years. We first saw it with Time Bank and then Discovery did theirs and now there is Bank Zero. I'm not sure if there are others that I might be missing, but if you do know of others, do comment in the comment section, make us aware of it. I think another thing that one would be asking, why do you need so many bank accounts? Because I think this is my third bank account, right? I have um, my main one with Capitec and then I have a secondary one with Time Bank and now I have a Bank Zero one. Oh, I have an F&B one. Okay, so I have four bank accounts. <laughs> um, anyway, I am going to use this one strictly for my subscriptions because I really want to be able to separate my funds in that way so that I know that these funds are safe where they are. For my 20, 24 subscriptions, right? Because this is what I've been working on. I made sure that I calculate each and everything that I subscribe for so that I know exactly what goes where and how much goes where. For my side hustle, the things I've been using is InShot and Mockup and Studio and also my software for my laptop because it helps me with uh, everything literally everything from studying to personal projects to my side hustle that is what helps me so i sat down and i calculated how much each of them cost me per year and i want to start saving towards next year's one because i have noticed that sometimes you get into a space where maybe for this month something goes wrong with your budget or you just overspend here or over there and you end up sacrificing some of these things. So I want to start saving towards that and to gather all of my software and applications as 1,764. So if I'm going to be able to cover the whole year next year, because if you pay for them per annum, they're actually much cheaper than when you pay for them on a monthly basis. So I'm going to take the per annum plan. I'm going to have to save 220 and 50 cents per month from now, this month in May until December. So that January, I just take the whole year's subscription. And then in 2024, I will be relaxed. I don't have to do 220. I will be doing 147 per month because I'll be saving for 2025. So with all my subscriptions, I want to be a year ahead. The same goes for my TV and music because I have Showmax, Disney, Prime and Spotify which come to a total of 4,058 rand per year. But in this year, my Disney is deactivated. So I'm only covering Showmax, Prime and Spotify. I think um, adding Disney will 
also help me add some variety because there are some things that I really love on Disney that are not available on the other channels and I watch the news through YouTube because SABC News and ENCA have channels going on on YouTube and they stream even some of the things like the president's address so with that I do not really need DSTV anymore or a subscription to the SABC thingy I can only use these ones so for me to be able to cover next year in full from January I'm gonna have to save 500 and 7 rand 25 cents per month from now on until December and then next year from January to December I'll be saving 338 rand 17 cents per month in order to cover for 2025 so that whatever happens I will be covered in that year that is the whole reason that I have a new bank account and I want to keep it strictly for these eight otherwise there's nothing else so the main part of this was to just let you know that you can get an account with bank zero for less the bank charges are far less than other banks the opening the bank account is extremely easier than most bank account bank accounts and getting your bank card is extremely easy and you can be able to personalize it let me show you. Where are you? Hi. Um, I still need to activate this. You can personalize it however you want. See, with mine, I use my one name and not my other name. And there's also a picture section. You can use whatever picture you like, whether it is you or it is something else, I think because I did change my picture from the moment I opened the account to now this is a new picture so whatever happens you can be able to do that and it also taps it taps so yeah that is it and you have your account number here and your branch code here so this is the new world of banking guys South African banking this is where we are going and it's a actually contactless account now that I think about it I have never had to speak to anyone I have never had to take long phone calls when I did this your FICA documents are scanned through the app when you open your account you know your ID and just a picture of you and the only person I really had to speak to is the people at clicks when i went to collect the parcel so yeah it's a very, it's a very good one for introverts because most introverts don't like people well most introverts like people they just don't like interacting with people that's a very weird thing i am going to do a deeper analysis of bank zero and i will be uploading that also in terms of their bank charges and all the other things that I may not be thinking of at this moment so if you'd like to see that do come back again for today thank you very much I will see you in the next video thank you for subscribing thank you for hitting the notifications button and do let me know if there's something that I haven't said yet or that I may not have in my plans for this year that relates to personal finances that you would like to know i'll do make a plan and upload for you